we are going to learn how multiplication can be carried out on the number line. Precious, can you say what is multiplication? Multiplication is simply repeated addition. Excellent, Precious. Now let's multiply 3 times 3. This arc has jumped from 0 to 3. This arc has jumped from 3 to 6. This arc has jumped from 6 to 9. When 3 is multiplied by 3, the answer is 9. It's like adding 3 to itself 3 times. The arcs have jumped all the way from 0 to 9 in steps of 3 each. This is like saying 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Wow! That makes it so easy! Yes, let's try another one. Now let's multiply 5 times 2. This arc has jumped from 0 to 2. This arc has jumped from 2 to 4. This arc has jumped from 4 to 6. This arc has jumped from 6 to 8. This arc has jumped from 8 to 10. Precious, can you give the answer? Well, I think 2 has been added to itself 4 times. So 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Are you quite sure? Yes, I am. No, Precious. That's not correct. Amber, it's your turn now. Well, it's very simple. 2 has been added to itself 5 times. So, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Well done, Amber. You are absolutely correct. Hi, Amber. Hi, Precious. Hi, Buster. Hi, Buster. Today, we are going to learn about the multiplication fact. This arc has jumped from 0 to 2. This arc has jumped from 2 to 4. This arc has jumped from 4 to 6. Precious, can you tell me the multiplication fact for this number line? Yes, yes. The arcs have jumped from 0 to 6 in 3 steps of 2 each. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6. Very good, Precious. Well done. Now it's your turn, Amber. This arc has jumped from 0 to 4. This arc has jumped from 4 to 8. Amber, what is the multiplication fact for this number line? The two arcs have jumped from 0 to 8 in two steps of 4 each. So, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. I'm going to teach you some simple multiplication. Wow! The fairy land is so beautiful. Yes, it is. <laughs> now let's learn this multiplication with the help of these fairies. Wow! You mean we can actually do that? Of course. You'll soon see how. Amber, these fairies have arranged themselves in some order. Can you count these fairies by multiplying? Oh, of course. There are two groups of three fairies. So it is two times three, which is equal to six. You're absolutely correct. Well done. What is the other way to write this precious? It is 2 multiplied by 3 equal to 6. Very good. 
But there is one more way to write this multiplication statement. Really? And what's that? Just write the numbers one below the other. That is, in a vertical manner. Okay, I get it. I get it too. Let's have a quick recap of what we've learned. You can perform simple multiplication of numbers by expressing them vertically. You can perform multiplication by counting the number of jumps on the number line using repeated addition. You can also apply the concept of number of times a number to find the answer.